Let's talk about geometric sequence. So geometric sequence is sequence whose consecutive terms, terms have the same quotient. We call it common ratio. So well, by that, we can figure out the missing number. So first we have to find out the common ratio. So what is the common ratio? Remember, if we divide one number with another number, in this case, we're gonna divide second number by the first number. So I'm gonna do six divided by negative three. Clearly I have negative two. And I'm gonna do negative 12 divided by six, also negative two. And I'm gonna do 24 divided by negative 12. It's gonna give us negative two. So clearly I have ratio is equal to negative two. This is called common ratio. Common ratio. So once I have a common ratio, oh, by the way, and also A1, or z1 is equal to negative 3 clearly as you see okay so common ratio so well once we know the common ratio i can just do the opposite i can just multiply by negative 2 so if i multiply by negative 2 it should give me negative 48 i multiply by negative 2 is going to give us 96 and you keep going on and on you can find any missing number okay now that's how we actually find the missing number. And we know this is a geometric sequence because we have a common difference every time. We do have a common difference, which is, as you clearly see, once we divide, we get the common difference, okay? Like, uh, you know, arithmetic, we have a common difference. We subtract, we get a common difference. So uh, geometric, we divide, we get a common difference. So once we get a common difference, we can find the missing number by using the opposite, all right? So I'm going to show you or introduce you the general term of geometric sequence. So actually let's erase this here and I'm going to show you the general term of geometric sequence. Okay. So let's take a look here. This is all is true. I can say uh, Zn equal to Z1 r to the power n minus 1. Some will say how do we come up zn? So this is basically same as a sub n is equal to a1 first term r to the power n minus 1. It's the same thing. Well I want to name it as a z because this is my geometric sequence. Okay this is my geometric sequence. So I'm just referring at it as a g. So I want to erase this one here. Okay so I would like to find my first term. So in other words, z n equal to one. I'm gonna find the n one. Again, I'm changing the value n as a one, okay? So wherever is my n, I'm gonna just substitute with one. And of course, do we know the ratio? Yes, we subtract, we substitute. And do we know the z one? Yes, once we know, we substitute. So what is the z one? Z one is right here, that's the z one, okay? And a ratio we found out earlier, it was a negative two. Remember that was a ratio. Ratio was negative two, common ratio. So well, let's figure it out. Negative three times common ratio is negative two to the power n is one minus one. So negative three times negative two to the power zero. And that should give you negative three times one, which is negative three. Look, that is exactly same that is the same thing so we clearly can tell that a z1 is equal to negative 3 and that is true so this is how we deal with general term okay let's move into the next one okay so if we look into this is there any observation yes 8 divided by 2 which is 4 and clearly look that's a 4 that's also four that's also four if you divide by the way we are dividing we're not subtracting okay so uh and again i'm going to show you this one here. 32 divided by 8 is also four so guess what your ratio is equal to four once you get your ratio equal to four right you can just multiply it you can just multiply it so 128 times four it should give you 512 and of course, 512 times 4, it should give you 2048. 512 times 4, it should give you that. And 128 times 4, it should give you that. That's how we find the missing number. And of course, this is a common ratio, okay? 
let's take a look on the next one sometimes we are going to have some fraction we are not going to have always whole number so fraction so we do the same thing here so well second number divided with the first number so one six divided by one third one six divided by one third it should give you one half okay and one twelve divided by one six that should give you also one half one twenty fourth divided by one twelve it should give you also one half so our common ratio is one half once we know our common ratio we just multiply by one half each time so if you multiply by one half it's going to give you one out of 48 and also this one is going to be one out of 96 that's how we find the missing number okay so i hope you understand how to find geometric sequence and their missing number and their general term or general formula general rule okay thank you